This is Vijay Sri working as an assistant professor, Department of CSIT, Mellar Institute of Technology. In today's session, we will discuss about storage classes in C. The overview of the session storage classes, types of storage classes. So, what is a storage class? First, we will go with each and every variable is stored in a computer mem memory. Let us suppose if I declare a variable int a. So, this will be stored in a computer memory. Okay. Every variable and function has two attributes. It has two attributes. One is the data type. Data type already we know that which type of variable we are, which type of value we are giving to a variable like int, float, car, double, storage class. Storage class specifies default value, scope, location and lifetime of a variable or a function. It will specify or it describes the features of a variable. What it describes? It describes the default value, scope, location, lifetime. These are the four specifications which are given by the storage classes. Let us suppose here I declared a variable called int a. So, where it stores? When we declare a variable, it stores somewhere in the memory, right? Where it stores? It stores the location of that variable is RAM. Then lifetime. Let us suppose here I have a main. In a main, I declared a. So, the lifetime of this variable, that means I can access this value till end of this main. So, that becomes the lifetime of, lifetime of that variable. Then default value. Here, I did not initialize anything to the variable a, but I am trying to print the value. I am trying to print the value printf where a is integer type so format specifier is percentage d comma a if the value is not initialized to a but we are trying to print then what is the default value it will give so these are the specifications given by the storage classes then coming to scope scope is of three types block scope function scope and program scope. Now, what is a block scope? Scope determines the region of a, the region of the program in which the defined object is visible. Scope pertains to any object that can be declared such as variable or a function declaration. An object can be three levels of scope. We are having three levels of scope. Block scope, function scope and program scope. What is the scope? The region of the program in which a defined object is visible. That means the variable is visible within that block scope or a function or a program scope. Now, what is a block scope? Variable defined within a block have a local scope. Like here we have a outer block and inner block. So, they are visible in that block only. Let us suppose here I declared a variable called int a. Int a. So, this is the inner block where this indicates start of the block and this is end of the block. This variable can be visible within this block only. I cannot access this variable outer that block. That means in outer block I cannot access this variable. So, this is local to that particular block. This becomes the block scope. Variables are in scope from their point of declaration until end of the block. So, here I declared it is a declaration start and uh, that means block start then end of the block. Block scope is also referred as a local scope because this variable becomes local to this. This is a local variable to this block only. So, that variable becomes a local scope. Variables 
that are declared in block are called local variables now here a is a now here a is a local variable this becomes a local variable because it is visible in this inner block only outer block cannot access that one function scope variable defined within a function including main are local to that function and no other functions has direct access to them let us suppose here i consider example int add a b here a b are the variables add is a function so these variables are having only a function scope suppose consider here int fun1 then um, int a again i have a function let us suppose function 2 here i called so the control goes to function definition int fun2 here int b above the main will declare those functions in a main will call those as we discussed discussed earlier in the functions topic so we'll write we'll declare the functions above the main that is with the return type function name is fun1 no parameters so two functions here are declared fun2 fun1 i called in a main function so the control goes to fun1 here a is a variable in which it is local to this function then in fun1 in function1 i have called function2 so the control goes to function2 definition so here i have variable b which is having a function scope that means this b can be accessed by only fun2 function2 this b variable cannot be accessed by this so this is having a function scope here a is having a function scope program scope program scope includes entire source file of a program including any files that are part of it let us suppose for declared a variable above the main int b then in a main function i called fun1 so the control goes to function definition so we have to declare that int fun1 int fun1 so here we will define what that function1 has to perform but here b is a global variable global variable because i declared about the main so this becomes global that means this variable can be accessed by main function or any other functions an object with a file scope has visibility throughout the source file in which it is declared this is my source file in which i declared this as global variable so that is having the visibility through the whole source file objects within the block scope are excluded from file scope unless specifically de declared to have a file scope in other words by default block scope hides objects from the file scope let us suppose here i declared one variable called a this is having only a block scope within this this is visible within the main function only but coming to b variable b that is declared above the main that becomes a global this becomes a local local to that scope this is a global in which the variable can be accessed by the main function or some other functions which we are using in our source file an object with program scope sometimes referred to as a global object this is the global or we can say global variable declared inside the scope are referred to as a global variables
Now there are four types of storage classes: automatic storage class, register storage class, static and external storage class. Now we'll see the storage classes one by one. In auto automatic storage class, the variables are called auto variables. In register, the variables are register variables. In static, those are static variables. In external storage class, variables are called as external variables. Automatic variables. The default and the most commonly used storage class is automatic. Now, I am telling declare a variable int a, int a, or int b, or some other. So this variable falls under which storage class? Or by default, if you did not mention any storage class, by default it is considered as a auto storage class. Memory for automatic variables is allocated when a block or a function is created, and they are defined local to the block. They are local to that block only. When the block is exited. The system releases the memory that was allocated to the automatic variables, and their values are lost. These variables are also referred as the local variables. So we'll see the example. So always the execution starts from main. Here I declared a variable called a, which is of type int. I did not mention any storage class, so by default it is. Auto, auto storage class. When we declare a variable, what happens? In a memory. Let us go. RAM memory. Some memory is allocated to the variable a, in which it is storing the value twenty. Here only I initialized the value. Printf percentage d comma a. Here I used the format specifier as percentage d. Why? Because A is storing a value of type integer. So when you are trying to print this in your console window, the value of a twenty is printed, returns zero, and it exists. Exit. So when it finished its execution, automatically the RAM memory will get released. So here it is when the block is. Exited, the system releases the memory that was allocated to automatic variable. So here the memory is allocated initially when we declare a, when we initialized a value. When we printed that value, automatically the system releases the memory. If we did not mention any storage class by default, it is a auto storage class. These variables are referred as a Local variables here. A is local variable because the scope of this variable is here only. Auto storage class. The default storage class of all local variables is auto storage class. When we are writing or declaring a variable as auto, the keyword you have to use is auto. Then the storage is RAM memory. The variable when we declared as a auto storage class. These variables are stored in the memory. RAM. I did not initialize any value here, but I am trying to print. I did not give any value. Like in previous example, I gave the value as twenty. Here I did not initialize any value, but I am trying to print the value. Then it prints a garbage value. Local to that. Here, a is a local variable, local to that block, and the lifetime is it will remains to that block only till the control remains within the block when the variable is defined. Here, I defined the variable, so the lifetime of the variable is till the control remains. In the next storage class is register storage class. Whatever the variables we are declaring in that storage class are register variables. Register variable specifies to the compiler that the variable should be stored in high speed memory. Like if I want to repeat or if I want to execute frequently the same variable, then that variable is stored in a high speed memory, like a register memory. This is done 
for efficiency if no register space is free like the because registers are very small in size register memory is very small in size so if the memory is not free in register then automatically the variables are auto the variables becomes a auto instead consider this example here i declared a variable a equal to i here i did not mention so by default it is a auto storage class then register int i here i consider a loop variable in the register storage class why because because loop variable will frequently execute it i equal to 1 1 less than or equal to 5 again i plus plus so now i becomes 2 Two less than or equal to five. This variable is executed frequently till the condition false. This type of variables are stored in register storage class. The for the register storage class, the keyword is register. You have to use a register as a keyword to declare that variable. Then storage is these variables. When we declare those variables are register, those are stored in CPU register by default. I did not initialized the value one, but I am trying to print here percentage d comma i. Now it will give us a garbage value. Scope this is local to that block. Then lifetime till control remains within the block where the variable is defined. The variable is defined here, so till the control remains there only. the next storage class is static storage class the variables whatever we are declared here those becomes a static variables the static storage class is used to create variables that hold value beyond its scope until the end of the program the static variables allows to initialize only once can be modified any number of times once you initialize the variable if you want to modify that value you can modify number of times keyword for that is static then storage is also ram memory but coming to register variables the memory the variables are stored in cpu register by default it is a zero scope is local to that block and lifetime is here the lifetime the value persist between different function calls now let us consider here static int a so the variable is declared as a static variable i did not initialized any value i did not provided any value here but i am trying to print as i told you earlier if you the default value of static storage class is 0 if you are trying to print then the value it will give as 0 here i got 0 and not only that initialize once and if you want to modify you can modify those static variables many times now coming to second example here i initialized the static variable with the value 10 and in the main i changed that value as 25 that means i modified that value as 25 if we are executing this print of percentage d comma i now we will get the value as 25 next is the external storage class the variables are called extern variables external variables extern is used for global variables that are shared across the code in different files so if you want to access the variable which is present in another file we can access using extern storage class extern variables are used with separate compilation large projects are decomposed into many source files This is one of the application. Decomposed source files are compiled separately and linked together to form a unit by using external storage class. Storage is permanently assigned to global variables. So now this is our first program in which I declared int i equal to ten. Int i equal to ten. I declared this variable above the main, so this becomes a global variable. 
global variables can be accessed within the main function or some other functions within that entire source code then printf percentage d comma i here i am printing 10 let us suppose i am saving this file with a file name called file1.c now i want to access the variable i which is present in file1.c in the another source code like this is let us suppose this is a file2.c the value which is present in file1 the variable which is present in file1 i want to access that in file2 in another file so we can if i want to access like that we can define our own header file header file like hash include file1.c so if i include that the source code is included in this file2 then here the variable is i which is a global variable now extern int i here i am using a extern storage class int i where i is present in file1.c that is the i value is 10 here then i is equal to i plus 1 where i is 10 10 plus 1 now it is 11 this value is stored in the variable i printf i where it is 11 but actually we got this value from file1.c from other file in which other file we can compile using hash include we can include that using hash include file1.c this is user defined header file there is a user defined header file we included our own header file into the other program if you want to access those variables we can access those using external storage class summary of the storage class as we discussed four types of storage classes those are auto external static and register auto keyword is uh, for automatic storage class keyword is auto memory location storage is ram memory default value is garbage then local to that block coming to external keyword is extern memory the variables external variables are stored in ram memory then default value is zero then those are global through throughout the program then static if you want to give us a variable static storage class the keyword is static then memory is ram memory the default value is zero these are also local to the block then register register variables keyword is register these variables are stored in cpu register memory by default the value is garbage value these are also local to that block only so this is a summary of the storage class In the next session will go with the pointers we'll discuss pointers thank you